So this is a short video on how to do a basic lighting setup um, with Arnold. And this is slightly more complicated, but not much more complicated than the super simple physical sky setup that um, you should have already watched if you've started looking at this series on lighting in Arnold. Um, here's a shot I animated. This is Monty. Monty is walking along inside the gym. He's doing a double bounce walk on a treadmill and it's a simple 32 frame cycle. And I've also created a ground plane. So there's Monty. Uh, there's a ground plane. You can see it's called ground. There's a treadmill. Uh, and if I go into the outliner, Windows outliner, you can find all those objects there already. So there's no lights yet uh, or anything else. So we're just going to do a really super simple basic um, lighting setup. And the first thing we want to do is go to the rendering menu. So we're going to go into rendering and then we're going to go into the Arnold menu here and we're going to go to render. Um, uh, wait, no, we're not going to do that. Sorry, apologies. We are going to. So we want to go to render render using Arnold. We want to make sure that that's ticked there, Arnold render, Renderer. And then we're going to go into our render settings and we're going to do some stuff. So under the common tab, under renderable camera, I've got perspective selected. I haven't yet um, created a shot camera in this shot, um, but there's another video on how to do a shot camera. Presets, let's pick HD um, 720. That's a pretty decent one. And then under image format, let's select um, JPEG. It's JPEG for image format. So now we want to go, so still in render settings, we want to go to the Arnold Renderer tab. And then we want to be in this tab here. You'll see a tab called Environment. So you click on that and then go to Background, Legacy. And then <coughs> we want to create a sky shader, a, scry, a sky shader. And that will now create a dome outside of our shot. So that's a that's a dome. And if you if I zoom out here, you can see we've got this big dome outside um, Monty and the scene that we've just created. So let's go ahead and close out the render settings, and then let's go into our render view, which I, you're not going to be able to see here. I'm just going to have to pull that open this up a little bit. So we can see the render set. There we go. There's the render button. So if I just click on that, that is going to render my shot. And you'll see that I've got a sort of result there. It doesn't look great. It doesn't look completely terrible. Um, you can see we're, we're using the Arnold renderer, but we're going to need to work on that to make it look um, quite a bit nicer. So let's, um, let's fiddle with those settings. So now let's, um, I'm just going to close this so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so let's go into the outliner now and let's go ahead and find that sky dome. So I'm going to go Windows Outliner and then this is it. It's Transform 1. And now if I go into the Attribute Editor, then I can adjust the color of this. So if I just adjust the color and make it just a little bit blue, like a kind of go for a kind of light blue um, and then um, render it again. So I'm just going to have to open that up a little bit. You can't see the render button, but if I just pull that in there, there we go. Um, so now if I now I'm getting a sort of slightly kind of bluish tint on it. So starting to make something happen here. So now let's go ahead and create a light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to create um, lights, directional light. So this will act kind of like the sun and that's going to be, so if I go into uh, the channel box, you'll see I've created a light. So let's, let's create, um, well, we can leave it. We can call it directional light one for now. Let's make it bigger. Let's scale it up. Let's try scaling it up to five units. And make sure that lights are turned on. So under show, you want to make sure you've got light selected here so that we can actually see it. Then I'm going to press the move tool and kind of move it up so it sits above Monty and kind of rotate it so it's looking down on him. And that's going to cast a shadow um, over Monty. So we're going to have a bit of a we're going to have a bit of a shadow there um, pointing at Monty as he's on his treadmill. So um, whoops. Oh wait a minute, have I done that? There we go. Great. 
So now with the light selected, I want to go into the attribute editor that's over here and I want to be in the Arnold tab. So I'm just going to open up Arnold's there and I want to make set exposure to two. Exposure to two. And that should start to improve things. So let's go ahead and do another render there just to see how we're getting along. So I'm just going to pull this up so we get back to the render tab. There it is. And let's see what we've got. Okay, so that's starting to give us a little bit of a shadow. Let's um, let's just pull in, let's just zoom in a little bit closer there. Something like that. There we go. So we're starting to get a cast shadow, but you can see that the shadow is very, very harsh. So we do want to fix that. And, and make the make the shadow less harsh. So still in the um, in the shape node there uh, in the attribute editor, if we select angle and we take that up to two, and then render it again, we should start to see a softening. There you go. You can see you can see a softening there of those shadow edges. So that's going to give us a, a, a softer shadow, which is more like what we want. And we can also go into samples here and let's take that up to five. This is basically going to raise the quality. So if I hit render again, I'm going to get more quality. It's going to take a bit longer, but I'm going to get a bit more quality there. And that should soften the edges of those shadows a little bit. Anyway, um, what I promised you was a very, very simple lighting setup. Slightly more complicated than just using physical sky, but still pretty simple, pretty basic. So fiddle around with those settings and see how you get on.